So one of the nice things about planting sweet potatoes is they can be grown for the root or the leaf. They are actually not related to potatoes, they are related to morning glories. Hello and welcome to Wholesome Roots. I'm Rose and today I'm going to show you how I plant sweet potatoes. There are two basic ways that most people start their sweet potatoes. They either do it from slips, which are rooted cuttings that either came off of a previous vine or a sweet potato that you started slips off of. You can start your own slips at home by placing them into some water in a jar and letting the little babies grow out the top and it will form roots in the water. Or you can place them into some soil with the surface still showing and they will start to produce slips that way as well. Another way you can do it is to just plant sweet potatoes. They can be small like this and if they're much larger you can even cut them in half. So I'm gonna start off by showing you our little sweet potato bed over here. We're gonna start some slips and some potatoes so you can follow along and see which way you would prefer yourself. So I have this area that we prepared with a nice rich compost layer. We have all of these tiny sweet potatoes. Obviously we're not planting all of them and we have a small amount of sweet potato slips. You're going to want to choose a location that gets full sun. It is late afternoon here, almost 6.30 at night, so we've got a little bit of shade on this bed, but that's going to be just okay for these sweet potatoes as we're in Georgia and it gets pretty hot in our afternoons. So that late afternoon shade will help them out from overheating. All right, so let's get started with these slips. These came from Stark Brothers. A wonderful subscriber of ours purchased these for us. They're Vardamon sweet potatoes. So this is what sweet potato slips look like. There's not a whole lot of root development, but there is some. And even on the ones where there's no roots, you can start to see the little bumps along the side. So if you were growing your own sweet potato slips in a jar of water, you would have slips forming at the top. You would break those slips off with a twist and a pull method and place them into a glass of water and they will form their roots in there. So when I receive these in the mail, I immediately put them into some fresh clean water to keep those roots nice and healthy until it was time for planting. So let's do it. We're gonna wanna bury everything that's started to root, so the bottom couple of inches. These sweet potato slips, whether you have purchased them or grown them yourself, can actually be planted directly into the ground without soaking them in water first, but it is a good idea to get somewhat of a start on those roots. So I'm planting them six to eight inches apart. I'm giving them a little bit of room, but not too much because I'm wanting to have this bed completely covered like a ground cover so that the sweet potato vine itself will block out any weed competition. It's also going to make it easier for watering and fertilizing as needed. Sweet potatoes don't require a whole lot of fertilizer, definitely not too much nitrogen, as that will make a lot of growth form in the leaves instead of the roots. So again, just like with growing root potatoes, you want to add something high in phosphorus like bone meal. If you do decide that you want to put your sweet potato slips directly into the ground without rooting them first, you have to make sure that you keep that bed watered well. Those roots cannot dry out. Those cuttings cannot dry out. So this is going to be something that's going to be really good to use a rich compost and even a mulch layer on top.
have about 25 sweet potato slips in the ground. There were a handful of tiny, tiny ones that almost didn't look worth planting, but I went ahead and stuck them in anyway, just in case. Give them a chance. So we shall see how well this does. I'm going to water it in really good, and then I'm going to plant some of those in this section. nice things about planting sweet potatoes is they can be grown for the root or the leaf. They are actually not related to potatoes, they are related to morning glories. So I've just pressed them into this compost and I'm going to get some more compost to cover them with a good couple of inches. As you can see, we have a ton of little baby sweet potatoes left over that we can eat or share with the animals. <laughs> we sure don't have room for more in this bed, but we might end up extending it a little bit further. We'll see. So as you can see, we have all of these sweet potatoes. This is gonna provide our family with a ton of food this year. with some good compost and soon enough we'll have sweet potato vines growing all over this bed and probably all over this path and all over this path and it'll be lovely so there you are that's how i plant my sweet potatoes if you have any questions leave them down in the comments and if you have any tips or advice for me leave them there as well i'd love to read about them thanks for watching we'll see you next time on wholesome roots